chapter 12 it is such a good book so when i got this book yesterday i got it at target i wasn't expecting it for me to be like intrigued with a book i was never the type to be like oh i'm gonna go get a book we're gonna go ahead and read and all that stuff so when i picked it up i'm just like let me just try it out i heard it's a good book started reading it last night i am so intrigued into this book i feel like i'm gonna finish it like within a day or two like i'm already almost halfway with it there's so much that goes into this book a love story happening there's like sadness happening and it, it's so sad the sadness that's happening in this book i mean i don't want to give the book away you guys haven't read this book but i just resonate a lot with it with like when I was a little kid. I'm gonna go to Barnes & Noble this weekend just to pick up the second story from this book. If you guys have any recommendations on books, please let me know. I'm starting to get into like the whole book reading thing. I started reading like around 9 a.m. So it's 11.20 right now. I have to go get ready because um, I'm taking my sister out to lunch. I started getting into drinking a Celsius every morning. Yeah, today I just got the grape one. It's Labor Day weekend. It is also my sister's birthday this weekend. So I think I'm gonna go pick up a gift for her but because it's also my cousin's birthday. So we have two gifts to buy. I don't know what I'm gonna get them. I think I'm just gonna do like a little gift basket for them. Ooh thousand years later i'm telling you that there ain't no other way pack your bags and then you will go away i'm not gonna be begging you to stay mm -hmm. so maybe if you asked me yesterday i would handle this differently things are different i'm a new me that's not gonna happen that's not gonna happen that's not that's not gonna happen so even if you're asking if you're asking, cause I do what I do And it's time for something new, yeah The next day doing my nails but last time i got a question as to what products i use for doing my nails so i got this monomer just at my local um, nail supply store so if you're a beginner i think i would use mia secret which is this brand right here for the monomer by the way this one is my sister's i named it isabel pink because it is such like a different pinky bubblegum pinky color it is so pretty so that's the color that i use i'm just going to do a simple frenchie so this color right here is actually a color that i made for my sister which is why we called it isabel pink it's not a color from me a secret but i just put it in here because i had no other container for nail prep i just really use a dehydrator and um, primer from me a secret these are the ones that 
I have been using for the longest since I started doing nails I think about four years ago by the way I do get these bits from Amazon and then for like a brush by the way this is one that I got from I think I got it from glamournails.com or something like that I'll link it down below if you guys are interested but it's a number 10 brush it's a Kalinsky brush I've had this brush for like two years now this is the only brush that I use I've used so many brushes and I swear this one is always the one that I keep going back to okay. and then I have this right here here. this is the nail drill that I use this is from Melody Susie I think it was like 50 60 dollars it's so small so versatile so compact and it does the job you guys this thingy right here I stole it from Applebee's and this is where I use my monomer this light right here lamp or whatever you want to call it I got it from Amazon actually I'll link everything down below you guys I'm just doing a white Frenchie. So I'm just using the DND in white. Let me go ahead and finish my nails real quick and then I will show you guys what the final product looks like. I am actually just getting ready to leave. Mom is on her way. We're gonna be going to Trader Joe's. I have a lot of grocery shopping to do, bitch. Like I have nothing in the pantry. Considering it's a productive day that we're doing, we're gonna be going to Trader Joe's and filling up the pantry and we're gonna be filling up the freaking refrigerator. I go with my mom because my mom usually goes once a week. So I'm just like, I'll see the trip and go with my mom. I did my nails, you guys. To me, they're perfect. They look good. They fit my fat fingers. It is currently 516 right now. I have to take out the dogs before my mom gets here. I'm gonna be going out tomorrow with my sister and my cousin for her birthday. It, by the way, it's my sister's birthday tomorrow and it's also my cousin's birthday today. So we're gonna be going out. My bestie's coming along. So I am so ready for drinks. I haven't had drinks in a while with my bestie. Last week, I did a whole reset of like my goals, like where I wanna go, where I wanna be. So nobody knows like the reason why I quit. I know I just posted it out of nowhere. You know, I just wanna give some context behind that video because a lot of people don't know but I was in the real estate business. This company didn't want to pay me. I was not gonna let this company walk all over me. I ended up putting a claim which you can do if you guys didn't know you could put a labor commission claim and i did once i mentioned a labor commission claim my old boss reached out and said hey i want to get this settled like you know what can we do like can i pay you and i'm just like bro just pay me my fucking money like that's all i want he didn't yeah so i just wanted to let you guys know the backstory of why i quit my job it's not just a random thing that i was just like hey i'm gonna quit my job today if you guys are going through an issue at your work make sure to address the issue do not not voice your your voice if that makes sense so don't just let things be don't expect things to get better if you don't say nothing at all if there's something that is wrong make sure to let it be known tell somebody tell your hr manager tell your boss i was working directly with the ceo so i was going directly to the ceo so horrible but the ceo was the one who wasn't paying me so you know know your worth know what you're doing know your laws let a job step all over you just because you're an employee we're gonna go to trader joe's take it away take it away feeling too good to me chilling all day all in your space is where i want to be here in this room what did you do i just can't get enough too caught up in your love i've been trying to forget but you won't let me something in my brain wants you i've been hanging by myself asking for help Yeah, you, you always make me feel like oh yeah, you, you never leave my thoughts alone, yeah, you, you're the reason I'm going out my I don't know how I feel about these. Good morning, you guys. Today is Friday and today is my sister's birthday. We're gonna be going out for drinks tonight. We're gonna go to a local bar slash, oh, it's like a Mexican restaurant. There's like a grupo that's gonna be playing. The food sucks. I've been here before. It's like a local new-ish restaurant. It's like the drinks are okay. I would prefer to have my, like a little bit more shots in there. My sister can't drink. Obviously she found out that she's pregnant. So she can't drink, but luckily for her, I'll be taking her shots for her. I'm gonna be a tia to somebody other than the three little ones that she already has. I am on a hunt for 
birthday gift. So I got these vitamins because they were highly, highly recommended to me. I don't know if I ever mentioned it, but I have PCOS. Technically, it's just a hormone hormone imbalance. And I was told that I needed to start taking more fucking vitamins. So our bodies with PCOS, or at least with people who have PCOS, lack magnesium in their body. I drink magnesium glycinate. There's another one that's magnesium chloride or chlor something chlor you don't want to take chlor whatever you'll be in the bathroom shitting your brains out you have diarrhea you have chorro for fucking days look how huge these fucking are you guys son dos two every freaking morning <coughs> two thousand years later <laughs> The next day.